Hello everyone, I hope you are all doing well and staying safe and healthy during this quarantine. For our devotion today, we will be reading Jeremiah 33, verse 3. And the Lord said to them, Call to me, and I will answer you, and I will tell you great and hidden things that you have not known. Our devotion today is called Time Spent with God, and it goes like this. Some friends and I went fishing at a river. After we had gathered to begin our trip, one of my friends requested that one of our party, a pastor friend, invoke the name of the Lord. He requested we call upon the Lord to ask for his protection during our trip. With the respectful silence of everybody, the pastor did as he had been asked. We all wanted to get to fishing, but we felt it a more important manner to ask our God to be our unseen friend, guardian, and leader during the trip. To invoke the holy name of God is to pray, praise, and thank Him in all situations. It is a joyful task that Christians are encouraged and should be glad to do. Of course, there are those of us who say we simply do not have time to do what God has asked. The truth is, if we are too busy to pray, we are too busy. Now, if you're saying pastors don't have a clue as to the number of things we have to fit into our days, the ever-growing number of things which demand our attention, well, yes, a goodly share of them do understand. Because we understand, I am providing a number of suggestions. First, organize your schedule, and when you do, make sure you include some set-aside time for prayer. Next, organize your priorities by keeping a written list of prayer commitments. Do your best to put your prayer life in a position where it is not always going to be the fund of minutes which you can borrow to do other less important and less pressing matters. Of course, we are not saying that God's people need to be tied to a specific format. The scripture commands, pray without ceasing, is the directive that urges us on the goal and to which we aspire. Even so, the thoughts offered here may be of help in making sure our prayers doesn't get lost and forgotten in the avalanche of stuff that we need to do. The reality is this. This is one of the things that needs to be done. We as God's grateful people should speak faithfully and regularly to our gracious Lord. To wrap up our devotion, let us pray. Dear Lord, for the love of Jesus and the sacrifice he made so we might be saved, remain with us. Also allow us to see your blessings and give thanks. We also pray that everyone stays safe throughout this time and that you will heal all who are sick. This I ask in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now that you have all heard the devotion, we should take some time to reflect. Here are some questions that I think you should think about, especially during these hard times. Do you make time to regularly pray? Do you think there are things God is just waiting to tell us if only we would go to him in prayer? When have you experienced the power of prayer in your life?